Ken Lawson launched his acting career from the TV show In the House, where he appeared for 25 episodes. Hey, man, you look to adopt any kids? I know I can talk my parents right into them. After the Parkers, Lawson went quiet for a couple of years before making small appearances in lesser-known productions for 10 years. He later took his biggest role since the Parkers, appearing on In the Cut alongside his co-star, Dorian Wilson. Countess Vaughn had had appearances in TV shows like 227, Hello, Miss Clark. To say anything else would be hypocritical. Thea, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, among others, before she was cast as Kim on Moesha and then in the Parkers. After the show ended, Vaughn took some guest roles on a few short-lived sitcoms and also appeared in a couple of reality shows, including Hollywood Divas. Vaughn has been missing from the acting screen for some time, but she was recently announced as a guest star on season two of the Amazon Prime video series Harlem. Family-wise, Vaughn is a divorcee and mother of two. Monique's role on the Parkers won her three NAACP Image Awards for Outstanding Actress in Comedy Series. She continued acting after that, and we saw her take on roles in productions like Domino. From Black, you know what Chinese it doesn't What you are is Chinese Negro. Chinese Negro. Chinese Negro. Fat Girls, EDC. She later got her biggest role in 2009 in the movie Precious, which won her an Oscar, among other awards. She went on and hosted her own talk show and has continued to appear in more films and shows including Blackbird and most recently she appeared in The Reading. Family-wise, Monique is married with four children. Darian Wilson had a consistent role on the sitcom Dream On before his appearance on The Parkers. He also had a recurring role during season two of The Steve Harvey Show. He continued acting after The Parkers, and he has since appeared in several productions, including In the Cut, where he was one of the main characters, and most recently, he appeared in the film A Wednesday Christmas. He is a divorcee and father of two. Jenna Van Oy started her career as a child actor, appearing in TV shows like Blossom. The actress works primarily as an associate editor for a Nashville-based publication called Style Blueprint. We shot. It was that tragic grease fire. What grease fire? <laughs> See, maybe we should just move on. Yvette Wilson was already a household name before her role on The Packers, and this was because of her appearance on the ABC sitcom Thea. Lord, what did you do? And in movies like House Party 3 and In Friday. Wilson passed away from cervical cancer in 2012, and her last role was in the film Ganked. Mary Morrow's first role on television was in the action drama show Baywatch. Would later see her play roles on shows like One Life to Live, Family Matters, EDC. And after her character was written off in The Packers, she went on to play small roles in such movies as Uninvited Guest, To Be a Player, National Security, EDC. She is now focusing on her real estate career and this explains why we have not seen her on screen in a long time. Moro is a divorcee and mother of two. Kara Brooke quit acting after getting married and giving birth to her first child. She then started her own cake business called Sift by Kara until it closed a few months ago. She says that she now wants to return to acting. The 
Thomas Mikhail Ford was already a household name before the Packers, and this was because of his role in the Fox sitcom Martin. Meanwhile, why don't you give me your resume, okay? I'll take it to work with me. See, we got some openers coming up. After the Packers, Thomas continued acting and doing comedy, and we saw him appear in projects like Who Did I Marry? Conflict of Interest, among others. The actor passed away in 2006 from aneurysm, aged only 52. He left two children. Lamont Bentley was not only an actor, but a singer too. The star died in 2005 from a car accident, and he is survived by two children. 